what it do, baby. All right, it's been a while, and uh, today marks a special, a special occasion where um, we are. We've got some rewards to collect. Finally, the uh, the gifting rewards are in, and um, for Loki did finish in the top ten. Uh, no thanks to me. I contributed a little bit, but um, not not a lot. I am not the reason. But uh, here we go, gifting, and we ranked sixth. Let me see if I can figure this out here. How about that? How about we do that? Holy mother! Okay, sweet. So we get a six-star Kang. A six-star Nexus, we'll take it. A lot of these, gosh. I, I've got several of these in overflow. Uh, what is this? Okay, uh, Tier 5 Class Catalyst Crystals, which is pretty cool. And then the big thing is that um, Tier 3 Alpha Catalyst Frags. And um, I have two formed. And you guys can see there that I'm pretty close to uh, to forming my third, which means that today, today we get to take up our first rank four champion. You probably know who that is, but uh, you're, you're gonna find out. If you don't know who that is, you're gonna find out. So we are gonna claim this. Very nice, and uh, let's open up the, let's open up the Nexus Crystal first. Got to got to claim that that uh, free daily crystal. All right, uh, Nexus. Oh, got to claim the free Throne Baker crystal. If if the game allows. All right, there we go. And the six star Nexus crystal. Okay, so the six star Nexus crystal. Let me uh, let me move my face again. There we go. Six star Nexus Crystal. There are a lot of basic six star champs um, that that I would like. I think the ones that I don't have that I would like the most would be Archangel. And um, I mean, there are a lot of champs that I would like to awaken. Uh, too many to go through, and I don't want to waste time. This video is really going to be about my first rank four champ. So let's go ahead and just open this thing. All right, uh, obviously we go with Kamala here. My Immortal Abomination is SIG 200. And uh, Kamala Khan, as you guys probably remember, uh, I don't know, I assume that everybody that's watching this video has watched my other videos. That's, that's probably an, an inaccurate assumption, but um, I, was, I was hoping for a Kamala Khan for the six star, or I'm sorry, the Karina challenge. Um, I did it without her and and it was fine up until champion boss, and that was miserable. But there we go. We've got some other stuff, um, but I'm not too too concerned about that. What we need to do now is we need to take up our first rank four uh, champ on the account. Here are the uh, the options, but uh, yeah. It's going to be this big pop right here. Big Daddy Apocalypse. Oh my gosh. I even have enough gold to make it happen. I recently took this guy up to SIG 200, as you guys can see. Uh, fully committed after I, I've completed the Karina challenges. And uh, with those generics, I, I was able to get him up to SIG 200. So here we go, man. Make sure it's recording. It looks like it is. Here we go. That is a rank four apocalypse. All right. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of some of this ISO. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough ISO to get the job done here. But uh, I'm going to force it if we don't. So you know the drill. I will be back when we have fully leveled him up. Yo, check it out, dude. We have enough. Screenshot for the home diddlies. Dude, I am so pumped about this. 
<sighs> this guy is so bad, dude. Look at this dude. Just a massive, girthy monster. I cannot wait to use this guy in war. Look at all these war boosts expiring. Unfortunate. And uh, I bought all of these mutant boosts for the season to start, which was supposed to start today. Didn't happen. Unfortunate. That's funny with the PI from my masters. But uh, hey, man, up over 14K. Um, you know, the Alliance average is... It's a lot... It's, it's a lot higher than that, but I'm, I'm closer. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I, I keep trying to end the video, but I'm just too excited. Uh, that is a buttload of health. Anyway, guys, that is finally it. Thanks for watching. You know what I just realized? There's an alliance war going on right now. I stocked up like three days ago on these, assuming that the Alliance War season attack phase, the first attack phase of the new season of Alliance War would be today. Uh, of course, that is not the case. So, we have all of these extra boosts that are going to expire, including plenty of silver boosts that are going to expire, of course. Uh, but now we have a rank four apocalypse. Let's go see where we can use him. All right. Nick Fury. Ooh, I don't know if I can take him. Um, Mangog, easy peasy. Oh, Professor X, super easy. I am running suicides, so I don't want to... Here, how about... Oh, Apocalypse is great for this, for Path 1, because um, he bypasses Masochism, because it counts as a Purify. So, yeah, let's go left. He can. He'll be good for Jabari as well. Um, and I don't need to bring in Cable, because my first fight is going to be a mutant. Alright, we'll do Apocalypse, Fury... Oh, I never even checked this. Alright, not a problem. Apocalypse, Fury, and uh, Deadpool. But we're going to go with the 5-star Fury, because I'm, I've still I've been working on 7.3. Live War, this is kind of exciting. Alright, let's see how badly I can screw this up. It's Apocalypse, let's see what this dude's health pool is, because I know that it's, it's a lot. Okay, it's only 55,000 right now. But, um, yeah, I mean, boosted, we could get up, get that up to almost 85,000. Might get a little freeze action. Game has been especially uh, buggy and uh, laggy the last two days, uh, which coincides with the update. Yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty much every month, right? I'm just going to play this really safe and just wait it out. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, we'll let him throw his SP1. There we go. He's passively unstoppable uh, there, so I've got to be careful. Um... He's also super aggressive. All right, that hurts. Now he's in my world, man. I mean, he's dead after this SP2, right? This is unboosted. I do have suicides on, so. But yeah, in season with no suicides, that fight would be a piece of cake. And I would have a ton of wiggle room to mess up. Okay, so 60% of all damage dealt to iHawk while afflicted with the degeneration effect is stored as gamma radiation. So basically that just means uh, I'm not going to be able to, you know, kill him before he goes immortal. So if he has 15 gamma stacks when you would kill him, he, be he goes immortal. You can kill him before he gets to 15 um, and then he won't become a world, he'll just die. But if I start off with like a, an SP2, then all the damage that I'm inflicting after that. Um, yeah. Alright. But, we're gonna, we're gonna just have a little bit of fun with this. Alright, war. 
advanced power boost. All right, let's let's just go in. All right, boom. Harry's landing because it's mass uh, masochism is being bypassed. You know what? Actually, he'll probably. Well, let's see. All right, boom. We're gonna throw this. Let's take a look at the damage we're getting back to, or the power we're getting back to. All right, almost two full bars. But his pa his uh, gamma just went freaking nuts. That's okay. He's just gonna reach in a lot, unless it is possible I could bypass it with a concussion. Let's go! That is so awesome. Her cleanse can bypass my purify. So there I start with a, now her cleanse is on cooldown. And I wanna hit one more cleanse. I wanna uh, get her cleanse on cooldown. There we go, boom. Throw the SP2, holy shit. Is she gonna die just from this SP2? That is so sick. The power! <sighs> that is fucking awesome. Yeah, I can definitely take that Nick Fury. That's just a parry. I can do parry, light, medium, light, medium, or parry, medium, light. Just recycle my SB2s, he'll be done. Yeah, I can definitely take that Nick Fury. Yeah, I can definitely. 